State Task Force on Reparations for Slavery made a decision on who is eligible. KPIX 5's Justin Andrews joins us now live in the newsroom. And Justin, you first told us about this meeting as it was happening yesterday at noon. Lynn, we now know that in a five to four vote, the task force decided to base compensation on lineage rather than race. This after spending much of the day yesterday in a gridlock. The nine member task force says this decision has the best chance of surviving a legal challenge. Right now, the actual structure of the plan, though, hasn't been decided. The group also hasn't decided what type of compensation, so they could recommend cash payments. But some reparations advocates have instead proposed using restitution to close disparities in areas like education, health care, and land ownership. There are very real problems today that need to be addressed, from whether we have police reform or housing reform or changes in the educational system. So this is one step in the process. The panel still has a lot of work to do. A report is due by June of this year with a reparations proposal deadline in July of next year in order for the legislature to consider turning it into a law. We're live in the newsroom. I'm Justin Andrews, KPIX 5. All right, Justin, thank you. And new details this morning about a police shooting in San Jose. 